The Bobby movement continued to grow, as did opposition to it, fomented by some of the Orthodox clergy who viewed it as a heresy and a threat to their authority. When the Bab returned to his home in Shiraz following his pilgrimage in Mecca, where he publicly announced that he was the long-awaited Chaim, he was arrested. However, events intervened which led to his release, whereupon he left Shiraz for Isfahan, where he found brief respite from attacks under the protection of Manushir Khan, the governor of Isfahan province, who also enjoyed the trust of Muhammad Shah Qajar. Manushir Khan tried to arrange a meeting between the Bab and the Shah, who was at that time still open to an investigation of the claims of the Bab, but was under the strong influence of his prime minister, Haji Mirza Akasi, who opposed the Bab and the influence of Manushir Khan. The meeting was nevertheless arranged, and when the Bab was being conducted under military guard from Isfahan to Tehran for an audience with the Shah, Ahmad finally attained his presence. The Bab and his escort approached Kashan on the evening of March 20th, 1847, the third Nowruz or New Year, since the declaration of his mission in Shiraz. Haji Mirza Jani recounts a dream he had the evening before the Bab's arrival. He dreamt he was standing at one of the gates of the city, the gate of Atar, when he saw the Bab approaching on horseback. The Bab was wearing a kula, a sheepskin hat usually worn by the merchants of Persia instead of his customary turban. With him rode an escort of horsemen. As they approached the gate, the Bab saluted him and said, Haji Mirza Jani, we are to be your guests for three nights. Prepare yourself to receive us. When he awoke, the vividness of his dream convinced him to prepare his house for the reception of the visitor. When he completed the arrangements, he proceeded to the gate of Atar and waited. Soon he saw a company of horsemen approaching the gate. He went to meet them and recognized the Bab surrounded by his escort, dressed in the same clothes and wearing the same expression as he had seen the night before in his dream. Haji Mirza Jani joyously approached him and knelt to kiss his stirrup. The Bab prevented him, saying, We are to be your guests for three nights. Tomorrow is the day of Nowruz. We shall celebrate it together in your home. In spite of explicit orders not to allow the Bab to enter any city until his arrival at the capital, Haji Mirza Jani was able to persuade the officers in charge of the escort to permit the Bab to stay in his home for three days. In fact, the Bab had preordained it. Ahmad was among the friends who had earlier acknowledged the station of the Bab and were accorded the great bounty of meeting their beloved for the first time in Kashan. Ahmad has described his meeting with the Bab and talks about his beauty, his majesty and dignity as he conversed with some of the divines of Kashan. <laughs>